first one is qr code generator you might note that qr code is an encrypted form for a message or link or even an app nowadays it is involved in almost everything from filling a form to bank transactions you can even see a, a qr code in your aadhar card and etc meaning so before getting started we need to install a library called py qr code to install that library we have to type a command pip install py qr code it's going to take couple of minutes uh, as i installed already uh, there isn't going to be any wait so let's get into the code so before starting anything let's import the library we just installed so import py qr code so let's create a function name qr code generator so the first thing i want to do is that uh let's make this program interactive so let's take the input string from the user set now let's create an object which contains the encryption of the value of the input variable x so i am naming it as qr code qr code encryption encrypt yeah so the command you want to you need to type to get the encryption is by qr code dot create of x so basically this thing will create an will return an object which contains the encryption of the input variable value of input variable x to convert that encryption into a picture you have to type the command qr code and you also need to mention the scale of the picture so here the scale is a relative measure so that depends on you how big you want the encryption and let's try a final testing statement which says that qr code is generated successfully that's it let's call the function so let's call that function astroboy 101 so he, here you can see that we got a sentence qr code is generated successfully so this is the final qr code you're going to get so you can pause your video here and scan it you're going to get astroboy 101 The second one is copy paste tool. Many of you might observe that when you get a coupon or when you generate a link, there would be a option to copy the text or the link into the flipboard, which is done using this tool. It is a very simple tool but very productive one to use. It can be used for automating the tasks and even be used to store all the information you copy to flipboard. Before getting into the code, we need to install a package called Piperclip. To install that package, we need to type the command pip install Piperclip. Let's get into the code. So, initially, let's import the library we just installed. Import Piperclip. so that's it then just we just need to know two commands to copy a text and to paste a text which has been copied so to copy a command we have to type the command piper clip dot copy and the text you want to copy that's it we need to copy a text So let's run the command. So, if I paste something 
it's going to say as to by one or two because we just executed a program which adds the text as to by one or one into my clipboard so that's how you copy so when it comes to pasting we just need to the command as you guessed it paste so it can be anything you have copied so let's say i copied the string you can see here that i copied that string so let yeah. so let's assign a variable to this and print okay you can see here that text has been copied to my clipboard and it has been pasted third one is py dictionary py dictionary is a package which is literally a dictionary where you can find meanings of words to get started firstly we need to install a package called py dictionary to install that package you need to type the command yeah you guessed it the command is pip install py dictionary before getting started there is something we need to know about this package so to get the synonym of a word we don't need the whole package we just need one function in this py dictionary package to do that we are just going to import py dictionary function from py dictionary package to do that we have to type a command from py dictionary import py dictionary so we just imported a function from the script or the package called py dictionary to create a dictionary object we just need to call that function that's it we just we just now created a dictionary object so let's find meanings of some words let's say the word be redundant to get the meaning of the word we have to type dictionary dot meaning of the word as you can see here this dictionary returns what type of word it is and the synonyms of the word fourth one is wiki search which is nothing but searching in wikipedia the name of the package we are going to use in this program is called wikipedia to install that package you have to type the command pip install wikipedia after installing let's get into the program let's begin the program by importing the library wikipedia after that let's make this program interactive so let's take an input from the user after that to get the html page of that input value we have to type the command wikipedia dot page of x let's say we want to print the summary of that page then we have to type the command data dot summary let's run this program 
let's say I want to know about reverse. As you can see, we got some paragraph of text. So if you want to verify, you can go into the Wikipedia page of reverse and you can verify. The fifth one is URL shop. When you are making a Google form or any type of online form, there is a chance that that link will be too long. In that case, we will use some URL shortness to cut the length to one fourth. In Python, to do that, we need help of a package called PyShortness. To install that, we need to enter the command install PyShortness. After installing, let's import the library and let's make it interactive. Now let's create the short name object by using this command. Now let's convert that URL into tiny URL which will be used in case of shortening the URL. A is equals to shortener dot tiny URL dot short of URL. That's it. Let's run the program. As you can see, for google.com, the tiny URL is this one. 